Hi guys, this is Ken Lavin. I'm with Winter Mud. I'm here with my great friend. I'm Matt Hill. I'm with Night Energy Services and this show is Fossil Fuel Fridays. We are very honored and blessed to have one of our close friends, Randy Patterson, came down today to let us interview him about himself, his career in oil and gas, and the job he's looking for. Uh, Randy, uh, where'd you go to school? Tell us a little bit about uh, about your background in the oil field and uh, maybe the job you're kind of looking for or uh, maybe the projects you're looking for. You do project engineering. Sure. Yeah, I grew up in Oklahoma City and I went to the University of Oklahoma, got my petroleum engineering degree. Yeah, I was very blessed to start off with a very fine company called Tentacle Oil Company. A few of my colleagues are still in the area. As a well-known company back in the day, we were the leading operator back in the 80s in the state of Oklahoma, the mid-continent, plus the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, I was able to work in all the engineering departments. I was in the drilling and completion engineering group, I was in the production operations uh, group, I was also in the reservoir petroleum group doing acquisitions and economics. I even spent a little time in the geological engineering group where I prospected a couple of wells. I uh, went to California for a few years, worked in natural gas storage, high rate. Wells where we inject 50 to 100 million a day per well and pull gas out at least 100 million a day per well. Uh, several billion a day of gas coming out. So it's a very high rate, large poor wells. Uh, came back to the uh, Texas area, did natural gas storage, and then started my consulting career at a little company called BP. And uh, they had to work in the Midcon, so I was doing Arcoma, which is southeastern Oklahoma and Arkansas, natural gas wells once again. I uh, made my way up to Oklahoma where I went to work for a little company called Chesapeake and saw the, saw the rig count go from uh, 20-some rigs to 168 rigs, just grab on and hold on. And at times uh, I was watching 14 rigs, and at the time if I'd have been my own uh, oil company, I'd been about fifth in the United States. So I was just busy, busy. But uh, I'm very proud of my background of doing everything from... Uh, the concept of a well or a reservoir or a project through design, building location, drilling the well, completing the well, operating the well, maintaining it, uh, cradle to grave. I've done plug and abandons, done sidetracks, re entries. I uh, did the first horizontal natural gas storage wells in California. I've done projects in 10 different states. Start actually, my first job was actually the Gulf of Mexico, but after I got to ride a helicopter down in a helicopter crash, I've been uh, onshore ever since. And uh, worked with thousands and thousands of fine people, and of course, I owe, I owe all the service companies because all the project work, everything I designed, I got information, I got bid records, I got mud records, I got all kinds of information and final directional designs from my good friends who work for the uh, service companies. Well, we appreciate you for uh, calling us and bringing us out. We're glad to help out with all of that. Speaking for all service companies, thank you. So, uh, thank you, frown to brown. As we like to call it, you have right. done everything from ground to ground. So, guys, guys, if you're looking for an engineer for project management, get a hold of Randy Patterson, please, and give him a shot right now. Uh, I know there's so many people uh, looking for work. Uh, I'm also honored to uh, serve with Randy, and so is Ken, at the uh, Oilfield Christian Fellowship here in Oklahoma City chapter. Uh, and, of course, uh, we want to shout out to City Rescue Mission. Randy, this guy, and why he should be part of your projects is because every time I'm with him, I see him roll up his sleeves. We talked about this the other day. No questions asked. Finds ways to help people out without even asking. He, he sees a need in people and goes for it. I just I always like that about you, Randy. Your drive to help others and your drive to work hard. Uh, if, if you're looking for a, a, a job hunter, Randy's your guy. Randy, how can you get it? Email address is pretty simple. It's randyhill.patterson at gmail.com. You can Google me. You can type in oil and gas fellowship. You can go to LinkedIn or Facebook. Practically ask anybody in the oil and gas business in Oklahoma, in the Oklahoma City area, and they'll be able to contact me, get you in touch with me. I'm not hard to reach. I'm going to tag you on all those posts, too, guys. Get a hold of Randy Patterson for all of your project engineering or hiring as a petroleum engineer in your own company. You'll be blessed to have you. Well, Randy, love you, buddy. Yeah, and I, I want to throw in a quick 
I mentioned also, I kind of left off the end, but I actually spent the last three and a half years working for a service company for the first time in my career. So I'm not the first to uh, get down hoses, rolling up hoses, yeah, uh, making it, making up iron. I was the inventory coordinator. So for about a year and a half, I kept track of all the inventory, ordered all the supplies, all the chemicals, kept up with all the PPE, all the materials for a service company. That's where I like about engineers, guys. If you if you need somebody to answer the phone, your engineer is going to do it better than everybody. You might design a gadget to answer for me. <laughs> and I think at, at my last desk I've worked either eight or nine Christmas was about four feet Thanksgiving yeah. in the last three years in a row. And so I've been out on rigs. I've slept in, slept in a lot of trailer houses and cars and pickup trucks. And sat in a lot of rigs. So uh, it's four gloves. Way. And so I'm the, I could be in an office. I could be in a field. I'm flexible person. This, this is what this uh, fellowship is about. This is what our industry is about. Reaching out, helping others, supporting each other, supporting the gas. Thank you guys. Thank Ken. Thank Randy. Yeah, thank Appreciate Ken, everybody. Yeah. Take care and God bless. Take care. God bless. Tall flame, you can wait 